I'm back. For this step, we're going to use this round brush. It's very small. And this big round brush. So we're going to start making the phthalo blue lighter. So I'm going to take a little bit of white. A little bit of phthalo blue. Probably four times the amount. Just get a little bit lighter. It doesn't have to be a whole lot to really show up on the black. So, about like that. You can see the difference maybe. So we get the lighter. We start here where we talked about the highlights going. So we'll start here and go right to the edge. I'm gonna start a little bit lighter. You can't really even see that. The light right at the edge needs to be almost white, but not quite. So just a little bit more white. I'm gonna start another pile over here. The white to it. Let's see what we get. That's pretty good. So we go back up in here. Go right back to the line again. Tiny little imprints. Kind of tap, tap your blue back out. And you're going to take your big, your big brush and really tap it out. Just kind of making the look of. You don't want any lines. It's really just this line. All this is going to be gone over two or three times, so it'll be fine. Nothing has to be perfect. It's really hard to mess up with these galaxies. Just kind of tapping down, dragging it out. Now this is a dry brush technique. I take a little bit, tap it off. So you're just getting a little gradient of color there. See how it goes from dark to light? There's not much on there. Go right back over there. Watching to not get on your line. You're just covering up the area of where your light blue meets your dark blue. Grab a little bit of light blue, a little bit dark blue, tap it out. I'm gonna blend this out right here. Just wanna keep tapping around. 
So you have nothing left on your brush. You give it some more light up here. See how the paint was a little wet and the blue and white or the blue and light blue really mixed real well together it just really looks pretty it gives it a lot of dimension and depth okay so then we're going to go back with the little brush and do this side i don't know what you can see okay just taking my small brush right where we said the highlights were going to be from the corner starting here tapping around with the little round brush just getting right up to that line and tapping out get a little bit bigger brush just push it around Going back over where you put the phalo blue. same motion just like going around the, to the sharpie mark and tapping it out when you take your big brush you're just going to tap out these are the marks I'm making they're just kind of like had all kinds of camera issues because I have no experience with anything like this. Just getting as close to the line as I could possibly get without interrupting any of that. Roundness really matters. This paint dries really quick because it's it's a dry brush technique I'm using. So it's better to kind of keep it wet with paint. Not water.
I don't really like the look this one's getting. But it'll all be fixed with layers. So you can tell this one is lighter than this one because while this paint was wet, I went back dabbed a little bit of the phthalo blue on it just for a little bit of depth so i'm going to go over to the edges tap it out and just drag it up just keep on tapping some sides need tapping this definitely on the side needs tapping Grab a little blue, the lightest blue, and then grab the middle blue because I have three different shades of phthalo blue on my palette. There's regular and then a medium and then the lightest. So you just kind of tap over the medium, over the light. paintings have DNA in them. Not blood or sweat, but... <laughs> okay, so the black side of this planet needs a little bit of attention. It's okay, all my paints dry, so I'm going to mix it up. So here's, again, we've got the darkest color, and here's our medium. I'm going to mix to the same color that's already on here. So we'll just keep adding white or adding the phthalo blue until we get about the same color that we had. Which that looks pretty good. And then I'm going to pick up some of that color, put it over here, and add a little white. So it's brighter and try to get this color. pretty close okay so I have my three different blues I've got phthalo regular phthalo blue a medium blue mixed with white and then a lot of white with a little bit of blue so um, I got a lot of my paintbrush and since we're dry brushing it's not good but this one isn't too bad okay so And get a little bit of the light blue and just come around to the back of the planet right here our sun's coming through the light to about right here right there those three dots i'm gonna do it about in between there Okay. <sighs> this planet needs a lot of help. It looks really bad. So I'm just going to start over with it. I think my paint was a little dry. 